Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's JDM, JDM Farms. Uh, today I'm going to start uh, converting the FS13 same Argon uh, 375 uh, to FS17. Uh, this uh, episode is uh, dedicated to uh, uh, some uh, middle school uh, teachers uh, that I had back back in uh, when I was in school. Mr. and Mrs. Charlotte Angotti with Angotti Farm Toys. Uh, Mr. Angotti was uh, my science teacher. Miss Charlotte was our guidance counselor. But she, uh, Mr. Angotti, uh, builds toy, uh, farm toys. And uh, every time I come in to uh, GE and work on the intricate details of a, a mod, uh, I can just imagine Mr. Angotti uh, with his uh, fine detailed tools uh, putting together those um, little bitty pieces of uh, mo models together for the real toy tractors whatever scale they may be but um, so uh, as we get started here I've already got a little bit of prep work done uh, I've pulled the, uh, the files I want to convert I created a support files folder through all the primary files into it uh, I'll have to uh, upgrade the uh, shaders here to version 3 just so uh, the uh, GE will actually use them and you see there I have uh, already had the same argon open uh, in notepad++ here I'm going to minimize that and uh, do the vi uh, vehicle shader now. So I got all the files here. Let's make sure that the um, primary i3d file recognizes them or map to them and we see here we got the farm character which is uh, obsolete now we don't actually put uh, models in for the character it's a dynamic object uh, the the lights and stuff I'm going to delete out once we open that up let's go ahead and change this to support files I have to do this for every primary f uh, graphic. And this will be a multi-part uh, mod. I'm just going to get the uh, recognize into GE and, and shut the video off for the night. Uh, so if you want to follow this mod, uh, go to my website and um, you can watch it uh, as it gets published there. You can even subscribe to the website and Um, whenever I publish anything uh, you'll get the early bird meaning you'll get it uh, before I publish it anywhere else so let's go ahead and close and save minimize that now let's open it up and see uh, what kind of errors we get go ahead and turn that off I use this enough to know uh, what the so and we can actually see it uh, I'm going to go ahead and explode this uh, scene graph out a little bit and um, see what we have to work with here um, I also have another file open uh, to work from 
which is uh, uh, an FS17 Puma. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to extract uh, the primary objects I'm going to have to import into the um, the old version uh, just for the basic uh, functions so let's go ahead and I'll get those um, exported here I'm going to export selection with files it'll ask me where do I want to put them I'm going to put them in this folder uh, mod development and this is the same argon so let's go ahead and throw those in the support files import that's just to uh, for a quick reference and no you do not want to have it linked to the original so build the new file structure and now we should be able to go back to the folder here and you see it, it built these other folders and there's my primary files uh, or the i3d that I will import into the uh, the same so let's go ahead and uh, go back to this one you see here it's got some uh, some shader errors can't load resources let's see what kind of uh, errors we're looking at coronas the farmer yeah we're going to delete the farmer character it's a dynamic load uh, the wheel diffuse I need to Alright, we're going to delete the wheels anyway, but before I delete the wheels, I do need to make sure they're working because I'm not going to delete them. I'm going to actually export them in case somebody wants them uh, to uh, actually make uh, as a dynamic load uh, wheel object because the wheels are dynamically loaded these days. So let's go ahead and minimize this. Let's... Uh, see we got the same wheels I believe maybe I didn't bring those in so let's go to the folder where I have the original FS13 data go to steerable go to same and yeah the the wheels are here so let's copy those control C go back into here to mods development the same argon support files control V alright now let's go back and I'm trying to get used to how this uh, is affect uh, this recording is affecting my Windows Explorer, so um, I gotta get used to how it's affecting it. And open it up here. And there you see the wheels are now loading. So that fixed that error. I just had to let my doggy out uh, shut the door back. So let's go ahead and I'm going to keep getting this thing to pop up for whatever reason. There. Now we're done. So do a front and back tire. And we will export selection with files and create a new folder old wheels 